living world living organisms characteristics in our surroundings usually trees birds human beings water soil cows buffaloes cats rocks dogs are seen some of these things have life and some don't the things which have life are called living things or living organisms let us learn about the characteristics of living organisms intake of food growth breathing movement excretion circulation of blood responding to stimuli etc are the characteristics of living organisms growth animals are small at birth and gradually grow up after growing up can they reduce their height to their earlier height can they become small again no certainly not this means that they had undergone a permanent change in their size permanent change in the size of living organisms is known as growth activity 1 take mustard green gram and groundnut seeds and sow them in different pots sprinkle water every day they germinate in 3 to 4 days observe the growth of these sprouts every day record the changes discuss in the classroom growth in animals stops after certain age whereas growth in plants is observed throughout their life locomotion we see animals like cows goat insect fish bird moving animals move from one place to another for food to protect themselves from the attack of other animals and for shelter locomotion is one of the characteristics of animals animals possess different organs for locomotion these are called locomotory organs plants do not move they remain where they are throughout their life they are fixed firmly into the soil nutrition energy is needed for growth movement and responses of the living organism organisms get energy from the food they take green plants prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis the food is prepared in the chloroplasts which are present in the green leaves water and carbon dioxide are supplied to chloroplasts to prepare food in the presence of sunlight some of this food is used by the plants for their metabolic activities the remaining food material is stored in different parts of the plant animals cannot prepare food on their own they depend on plants and other organisms for their food respiration man needs energy to carry out different activities he takes food to get energy the food taken by organisms has energy in it this food is digested and is carried to different organs of the body energy is released only when this digested food reacts with oxygen this energy is used to carry out various metabolic activities for this living organisms take in oxygen from atmosphere through various respiratory organs the carbon dioxide formed during respiration is released into the surroundings by the respiratory organs respiratory organs in different organisms plants respiratory organ leaves in human beings respiratory organ lungs in fish respiratory organ gills in frogs respiratory organ skin and lungs in birds respiratory organ lungs excretion when metabolic activities like nutrition respiration transportation takes place in organisms some waste materials are formed if these waste materials remain in the bodies of the organisms they become toxic and lead to death therefore organisms excrete them from the body the process of excreting the waste materials formed in an organism is called excretion in animals there are excretory organs for excretion 
skin, lungs and kidneys are the excretory organs in animals. There are no separate organs for excretion in plants. Plants utilize the waste materials for their production. Only plants have this ability of utilizing the waste materials for their usage. Stimulus Response Organism responds to external stimulus. When a thorn picks our foot, we immediately withdraw our leg. Pricking of the thorn is a stimulus. Withdrawal of foot is the response. Responding to stimuli is a characteristic of living organisms. Like animals, plants also respond to external stimuli. When a touch-me-not plant is touched, it immediately folds its leaves. After some time, the leaves get back to their original state. The shoots of plants grow towards light above the ground. Roots grow deep into the soil. Lotus blooming during the day, water lily blooming in the night, sunflower facing sun, etc. are the responses that plants show to external stimuli. Reproduction All organisms grow, become adults, live for some time and then die. They reproduce to give rise to their offsprings. In this manner, living forms perpetuate their life. Classification of Living Organisms, Plants and Animals Classification Categorizing the living organisms based on their similarities and differences and arranging them in a systematic manner is known as classification. The study of classification is known as taxonomy. Aristotle was the first scientist who classified living organisms into two main kingdoms, namely plants and animals. Classification of plants and animals Carolus Linnaeus, a biologist, classified plants on the basis of their reproductive organs. Animals were classified based on the similarities and differences in their body structure. Classification of plants they are classified as non-flowering plants or cryptogams and flowering plants or phanerogams. Plants divided into cryptogams, phanerogams, cryptogams divided into thallophyta, bryophyta, example moss, pteridophyta, example fern. Thallophyta is further divided to algae, example chlamydomonas, fungi, Example mushroom. Phanerogams are divided to gymnosperms, example cycas, dicots, example beans, monocots, example paddy. Cryptogams. Plants that do not have flowers are called non flowering plants or cryptogams. Green algae that grow in water, fungus that grow on food materials. Mushrooms that grow on garbage heaps, soft bryophytes growing on wet walls, fern plants that are used as ornamental plants, etc., or plants belonging to the group of non flowering plants. Cryptogams are divided into three groups namely 1. Thallophyta, 2. Bryophyta, 3. Pteridophyta. Phanerogams or flowering plants. The plants that flower and bear fruits are called flowering plants or phanerogams. They can be divided into two groups. They are 1. Gymnosperms and 2. Angiosperms. Gymnosperms. Flowering plants belonging to this group produce seeds that are not enclosed in the fruit. Example, cycas. Angiosperms. These flowering plants produce fruits with seeds enclosed in them. Example, rice, jowar. Plants are also classified based on their size. They are 1. Herbs, 2. Shrubs, 3. Trees. Herbs. These are small plants with tender stem. They grow up to a height 3 to 4 meters. They are upright 
without any branches or with fewer branches. Example, paddy, wheat, mustard, brinjal, lady's finger. Shrubs. These are average sized plants with hard stem. They have branches which grow from the base of the plant. Example, rose, jasmine, lemon, etc. Trees. These are tall plants. They have hard, strong stem. Branches arise at the top of the plant. Example, mango, neem, tamarind. Plants are classified into three groups based on their lifespan. They are 1. Annual 2. Biennial 3. Perennial 1. Annual Plants The plants which germinate, flower, give fruits and seeds and complete their life cycle within a year are called annual plants. Example, paddy, wheat, beans, pumpkin. Biennial Plants the plants which complete their life cycle in two years are called biennials. They grow vegetatively in the first year. Second year, they flower and produce fruits and seeds. Example, carrot, beetroot, radish. Perennial plants. They live for many years. Throughout their lifetime, they give flowers fruits and seeds every year. Example, mango, neem, goa, tamarind, sapota, coconut. Classification of animals. Based on the presence of notochord, animals are classified as chordates and non-chordates. Rod-shaped cartilaginous notochord is present in lower chordates. In higher chordates, notochord is present in the form of vertebral column. Invertebrates Protozoa Their body is made up of one cell. These are called as unicellular or single-celled organisms. They are seen only with the help of a microscope. Example, amoeba, paramecium. Porifera These are simple multicellular organisms. Many minute pores are present on their body. They live attached to a substratum. Example, sponges. Cilentrata. These are diploblastic animals. Finger-like structures called tentacles are present. Example, hydra. Platyhelminthes. Their body is flat and ribbon-like. They are mostly parasitic. Example, tapeworm. Nematihelminthes. They are parasitic. Example, Ascaris. Anilida. They are long and cylindrical. Example, Yathworm. Arthropoda. They have jointed legs. Exoskeleton is present. Example, Butterfly, Housefly, Cockroach and Scorpion. Mollusca. They have a soft body enclosed in a hard shell-like structure. Example, snail. Echinodermata. They have thorn-like structures on their body. Example, sea urchin, starfish, and seahorse. Higher chordates. Pisces. Scales are present on the body of Pisces. The heart is too chambered. They are called cold-blooded animals. Some fishes have skeleton made up of cartilage. Such fishes are called Catalaginous fishes. Fishes with hard bone skeleton are called teleos. Example, shark. Amphibia. They can live both in water and on land. The heart is three-chambered. They are cold-blooded animals. Example, frog, salamander. Reptilia. The skin has scales. The heart is three-chambered. Example, lizard, crocodile, Cobra. Aves. The skin is covered with feathers. Their four limbs are modified as wings to enable flight. Mouth is in the form of beak. Their heart is four-chambered. 
They are called warm-blooded animals. Their bones are filled with air. They are oviparous, egg-laying. Example, pigeon, sparrow, peacock. Mammalia. The skin is covered with hair. Heart is four-chambered. They are warm-blooded animals. They have mammary glands. External ear is present. They give birth to babies and feed the babies with milk. Example, man, cow, cat, etc. Importance of plants and animals. Importance of plants. Plants provide food and oxygen to all organisms on earth. They protect the organisms with the ill effects of carbon dioxide by absorbing carbon dioxide from atmosphere. They prevent soil erosion. They help in rainfall, prevent pollution, increase soil fertility. They are useful in preparation of cloths, paper and medicines. They give gums, dyes, fibers and biodiesel. They play a prominent role in Ayurvedic medicine. Importance of animals Food materials like meat, milk, eggs, wool used in manufacturing of cloths are obtained from animals. Nowadays, animals have a very important role in scientific research. Biogas produced from cow dung is used for cooking and lighting.